in this video we are going to discuss about the problems based on three phase induction motor to solve this kind of numericals these many sets of equations are sufficient to find out the answer for these problems the first one what they saying to us the find out synchronous speed the formula for this one is ns is equal to 120 into f where f is the frequency already given that is 50 hertz divided by number of poles is 4 so the answer of this equation is 1500 rpm and second one the second one they are asking us to find out the speed of the rotor the speed of the rotor is nothing but n that is equal to 1 minus s where slip is given that is 0.04 ns is already calculated that is 1500 so the rotor speed is 1440 rpm and in the third one this saying us to find out the rotor frequency. The formula for this one is F dash is equal to S is slip. The slip is they saying that it is 0 0.03 and F is supply frequency that is 50 hertz. Therefore, slip of this one is 1.5 hertz. And the last one they are asking us to find out the rotor frequency when at the standstill standstill means at the standstill condition the rotor speed is equal to zero so therefore slip at this condition is equal to ns minus zero divided by ns so that is nothing but ns divided by ns this is equal to one so the slip is equal to one when the rotor is in standstill condition so therefore f dash is equal to s is 1 and frequency is 50 hertz so therefore the rotor frequency at the standstill condition is 50 hertz in this problem they are asking us to find out slip of the induction motor and speed of the motor so to find out the slip so this is the formula so for the calculation of speed ns is required that is the synchronous speed n s is equal to 120 into f f is given that 50 hertz divided by number of pole is 4 so therefore the synchronous speed of the induction motor is 1500 rpm so the next what they asking speed of the motor so the formula for that one is this one but here the slip you couldn't calculate because we don't know the speed of the rotor also so therefore what we need to do so here they given the rotor frequency so therefore let us use this formula to calculate the slip of the induction motor so therefore f dash is given f dash value is 1.5 slip is unknown that you have to calculate and frequency is given that is a 50 hertz from this equation so what we can do we can find the slip slip is nothing but 1.5 divided by 5 so therefore slip of this induction motor is 0 0.02 once you know the slip once you know the ns then it is easy to calculate speed of the induction motor that is n is equal to 1 minus 0 0.02 and the synchronous speed of the induction motor is 1500 so this equivalent of the speed is now 1470 rpm so the finally the slip of the induction motor is 0. 0 0.02 or it is 2 percent and the rotor speed of the induction motor is 1470 rpm okay in this problem they are asking us to find out speed of the 
motor that means we need to use this formula so before calculating this let us check it out whether they given ns or not here the ns is not mentioned that is synchronous speed is not mentioned and the frequency also not given directly instead of that what are they given they given that an 8 pole alternator runs at 750 rpm as you know from that alternator chapter we can calculate the supply frequency by using the formula f is equal to pn divided by 120 this is belongs to finding the frequency of alternator so the number of poles are 8 then the speed of the alternator is 750 rpm divided by 120 the generated frequency of alternator is 50 hertz here the frequency is not given directly instead of that they are saying the alternator so now we calculated 50 hertz frequency once you know that then it is easy to find out the synchronous speed of the induction motor ns is equal to 120 the supply frequency from the alternator we calculated already 50 and number of poles of the induction motor is here they saying that 4 so therefore synchronous speed of the induction motor is now 1500 rpm so after knowing this here we have to calculate the slip but slip is not possible to calculate by using the above formula because we don't have the rotor speed value so therefore the next option is how to use f dash equal to sf because they given rotor frequency so therefore f dash is 1.5 and slip we have to calculate frequency is 50 hertz therefore the slip of the induction motor is 1.5 divided by 5 so this is equal to 0 0.02 so after knowing the slip it is very easy to calculate speed of the induction motor that is 1 minus 0 0.02 into the speed of the synchronous speed of the induction motor is 1500 so the answer of this equation is 1470 rpm this problem is almost similar to the previous one but only difference is they are not given frequency directly instead of that they are given the alternator values okay so to solve this problem these many sets of equations are sufficient the first one is what they are asking us the synchronous speed that is number one ns is equal to 120 the frequency is directly given here that is 50 hertz and number of poles of three phase induction motor is six so the speed of the given induction motor is 1000 rpm then second one they are asking us to find out no load speed so to find out the no load speed see that so this is the formula which help us to find out no load speed but ns is already know but s is missing just check it out the s is saying that the induction motor has slip of 1% at no load conditions so that means now by using 1% slip we can easily calculate second option so therefore n is equal to 1 minus it is in terms of percentage let us say it is 0 0.01 the synchronous speed of the induction motor is 1000 so answer of no load speed is 990 rpm okay then third one the third one they are asking us to find out the full load speed full load speed again that can be calculated by using the same formula ns is fixed that is 1000 rpm but slip is what is saying that here 3% at full load so instead of 
one percent now have to consider three percent so therefore the full load speed is equal to one minus three percent will be converted into zero point zero three into one thousand rpm the speed of the even induction motor at slip s is equal to three percent is nine hundred seventy rpm then fourth one frequency of rotor current at standstill so as you know in the previous problem so when the when the rotor is standstill means sorry when the motor is standstill means the rotor speed is equal to zero when the rotor speed is, is equal to zero then it is ns minus n divided by ns where n term is 0 so therefore this ns this ns get cancelled so therefore slip of the induction motor is 1 so when slip is 1 then rotor frequency is equal to s into f as you know s is 1 then supply frequency is 50 hertz so therefore the rotor frequency is nothing but the supply frequency itself and the last one frequency of rotor current at full load so they clearly given that the full load slip is here three percent so therefore now you can easily calculate the rotor frequency at the full load that is 0 0.03 into 50 then the rotor frequency at full load is 1.5 hertz